guys, Mr. Washam here, and today we're going to take a virtual field trip. So about 20 miles south of Farmington, a place many of you have probably been before, and it has a lot to do with our science class. So in case you've never been or it's been a while since you've been here, and since we're all kind of stuck inside, we're going to take you on a virtual field trip to Elephant Rocks. So I got my daughters here with me today, and we're going to go explore a few things, and I'll be telling you a few things along the way about... Um, how all this stuff came to be. So here we are, Elephant Rocks. Hi everybody, welcome to Elephant Rocks State Park. This place was formed about 1.5 billion years ago. And so basically what happened is the earth is broken up into layers. Uh, we're currently standing on the crust and underneath the crust is the mantle. And down in the mantle is what you might call magma. And so these giant granite rocks were formed in the mantle or the magma and over time they were pushed up and they eventually got to the surface, to the crust, and then weathering and erosion moved everything away and it exposed all these rocks that you're gonna see today. And so that's pretty much how it happened. Thank you. Ugh. I'm getting lots of good pots. So this is the area just behind the main parking lot. It's really not part of the main trail, but it's a very easy area to climb around in and get up on the rocks. And uh, it's also, you can see here, the uh, color of the rocks, where they really kind of have that reddish pinkish tone to it. And um, that's the color you see in a lot of gravestones and tombstones, which is one of the main um, uses of the rocks today. So this is one of the two quarries at Elephant Rocks. The granite that was mined here was used in a lot of the states, but um, St. Louis was a main use of one of the um, quarries. And a lot of the buildings in St. Louis, specifically the old buildings like the old city hall and stuff downtown, and even all the bricks, if you ever walk down toward Laclede's Landing and all those bricks that are made, all those bricks came from the granite that was mined up here at Elephant Rocks. One of the first things you'll notice when you get to Elephant Rocks is this little pavilion that tells you all about how the rocks were formed. And it has some old time pictures about what the quarry was used for commercially and how they used all the granite, how they got to it, how they mined it. And then it does you, uh, gives you a little bit of uh, history on the Arcadia Valley area and Pilot Knob in general. It talks a little more about the quarrying process and a little bit more about the region. So very, very much worth checking out when you come here and have time to read all of it. All around the park, you'll find uh, signs like this that let you know information about the granite and the rocks and what was going on. Um, they're all so over. So this is the main entrance to Elephant Rocks. And this is a little bit of a trail that leads up and you can see the rocks in the background. And that is kind of like the main area of the Elephant Rocks. And that was the part that was exposed mil billions of years ago. As you get closer to the rocks, the trail actually goes two ways, uh, both to the left and to the right. Most people generally go to the right, um, and that's kind of the way the path goes, going uh, counterclockwise. And as you walk around, you can read all the stuff about the, uh, about the rocks. Again, you can start seeing the signs. There's one right there and one on just a little bit down the path. And so here you can see um, it's a large climb up to the top. And you can see my daughter up there. That's the way the girls call this the shortcut. That's the way they like to climb the rocks. This is a view up the uh, shortcut of the rocks. Which is what most people would take. Uh, it leads to the top the exact same way uh, that you could go by taking the shortcut that my daughters were using 
but it's just going to wind its way all the way up and around and eventually wind up at the top of the rocks. Uh, going this way, you'll see a bunch more of just these smaller rocks, and it just kind of winds and works its way around. So there's two ways to get there. Okay, so one part a lot of people skip on the trail is going down to the engine house, and so we're going to take you down there to show you what that's like. So this is the old engine house. As you can tell, it's made out of the granite uh, from here because you can tell of its red tint. And it's inside of... Track. Yeah, so inside there's uh, the train track and that's how they hauled the granite out of here. And this is the engine house. Cool part that a lot of people skip. And so here's what it's like on the other side. And you can see the train track out of the engine house and it continues uh, through the woods and you can see it continue to go through there how it used to go. So if you follow the engine track down, you can actually see a spot where there's another section that leads back the other way. You can kind of see it right there. And it leads back that way, which is opposite of where we came from. So you can see one thing a lot of people did was the workers that worked here, they carved their names and initials into, into the rocks. And Ash, where are we going after this? I don't know. You can find this all over the rocks. This is the part that I like to climb and a lot of people like to climb on the rocks as you can hear. This is the second of the two quarries, and it's the one you'll find kind of near the end of the path as you leave most of the climbing area. And uh, this quarry is 40 foot deep. We're currently 30 foot up, and then it's 40 feet more deep. And this again, where a lot of the granite was mined to help pave streets in St. Louis and other cities. Here you see an iron ring. These iron rings were uh, embedded into the granite, and that's what cranes would use to help lift the heavy granite as they pulled it out of the quarry. I hope you enjoyed your field trip to Elephant Rock State Park. It is like literally going into a geologic uh, time capsule and going back in time and seeing how things uh, have uh, been eroded away and um, over millions and millions and millions of years and shown themselves as they work their way up from the ground. So it's literal geologic time and science right in front of you. I hope you enjoyed your scientific uh, field trip, virtual field trip, and maybe someday you'll make time to come and see it yourself.